Merry Christmas, everyone! I'm Amy Hay. And I'm Logan. And I'm so excited, it's almost Christmas! Me too! Ah, okay, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? Mine's the Yule Log. Oh, well, that's great. Um, my favorite Christmas tradition is staying up late on Christmas Eve to wrap last minute Christmas gifts. Ah, uh, well, speaking of gifts, that reminds me of today's big idea. Jesus is God's gift to me. Let's say it all together. Jesus, Jesus is, is God's, God's gift, gift to, to me. me. Great job, everyone. Now let's stand up and sing some Christmas songs. Let's go over our core values. It's follow Jesus, love well, keep it real, and laugh loud. Let's do it all together. Ready? Follow Jesus, love well, keep it real, and laugh loud. <laughs> Hi, friends! <laughs> Who's ready to keep their eye on the prize? You're going to see several presents on the screen, but only one will have a gift inside. The presents will get shuffled up, but you have to keep your eye on the one with the gift. Shout yes if you think you can do it! All right, here we go! Okay, shout out! One, two, or three, if you think you know which box has the gift. Great job, everyone! Let's try another one. This one will be a little faster. Whoa! That was fast! Did you keep track of the gift? If so, shout it out. One, two, or three, if you think you know which box has the gift. Great 
Good job, everyone. Uh, let's try another one. This time with four presents. Well, that was definitely a little trickier. Shout out the number if you think you know where the gift is. Nice job. Now, let's try it again, but a little faster. Okay, that was really tough. Did you keep your eye on the gift? If so, shout it out. One, two, three, or four. Way to go. That was really challenging. But what happens if we add in one more present? All right, who knows where the gift is at? Shout it out if you know it. Nice job! Oh, now can you do it if the boxes go even faster? That was crazy! Does anybody know where the gift is? Anybody who could keep track of that has some serious focus. Great job, everyone. Merry Christmas. I just love Christmas ornaments. My favorite is this little gingerbread man I have on the top of my tree. Do you guys have a favorite Christmas ornament? Wow, those are super cool. Now let's watch this video that talks about Christmas ornaments. Hey everybody, my name is Pastor Cameron and I am so glad you're here with us this weekend. Today we're celebrating Christmas, so here's what I wanna know. I wanna know what your favorite part about Christmas is, okay? Let me hear it on three. One, two, three. Okay, 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 that, that sounds pretty awesome. One of my favorite parts about Christmas is getting to decorate the Christmas tree with the lights and the garland, and my favorite part, the ornaments. My family growing up, we used to come together every year and we would decorate the Christmas tree as a family. And we had this tradition where we would get to buy our very own ornament and we would get to hang it on the tree every single year. And I loved it because every year there would be more and more ornaments on the tree and it just looked better and better. But the only problem came when one of us would drop one of the ornaments. Now, I don't know if you've ever dropped an ornament, but what happens when you drop an ornament is it shatters into a million pieces. Kind of like this. Now, believe it or not, our lives are a lot like this ornament. You see, in the beginning, when God created Adam and Eve, their lives were perfect. They literally got to walk with God. But at some point, they chose to disobey God. They chose to go their own way. And when they did that, sin entered the world and they were separated from God. Now, we've all done the same thing. We've all chosen to go our way over God's way and that's called sin and that sin breaks everything. Like this. Because of sin, we're broken on the inside. A lot like these ornaments and we all need fixed. And here in a second, we're gonna talk about how to fix the problem of sin. But for right now, I gotta fix these ornaments because these are definitely not mine. I borrowed these. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I am gonna be dealing with a lot of broken glass, so safety first. What could fix a broken ornament, I wonder? Hmm, hmm, huh? Glue! Let's go to work.
Well, that didn't work. What else is sticky? I have an idea. Just like I can't fix this ornament on my own, we can't fix sin on our own. We can try really hard to be good. We can try really hard to do all the right things. We can be really nice to our brothers and sisters and obey our parents on the first time they ask us to do something or obey all the rules whenever we're at school or do this or that or all these different good things. And we're trying to stick our own lives back together. But when we do that, ultimately, we're going to be left with this mess of sin and we need someone to come in and help us fix it. This is why Christmas is so important. This is why we celebrate Christmas, because God saw us in this mess, and he knew that there was nothing we could do about it. And the Bible says in John 3, 16, that he loved us so much that he sent his son, Jesus. And Jesus wasn't like us. He wasn't broken. He was perfect. And he lived a completely perfect life, and he gave it up for you and for me. And what he offers us, he says, if you will just accept what I did for you, I'll take your old mess, all of this, I'll take it on myself and I'll give you this new life. You don't have to be broken anymore. You can be whole and complete and you can be a part of God's family because of what I'm doing for you. Just give me your mess, accept what I did for you. And this is why Jesus is the best gift ever. This is why God loved us so much that he sent us Jesus so that we could be a part of his family. That's why we celebrate Christmas. If you would like to ask Jesus into your heart, then say this prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for loving me and for sending your son to die for my sins. I believe in you and I ask you into my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed this prayer, then make sure you tell your small group leader or family member so that they can celebrate with you. Let's do our memory verse. The Father has sent his son to be the savior of the world. 1 John 4.15. Now let's do it together. The Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. 1 John 4.15. Great job, everyone! Every day I 
I'll say hey every day. I'll choose Jesus. I will follow you. Let everything I do honor you every day. Every day I'll choose Jesus. I will follow you. Let everything I do honor you every day. Hey. I will follow you. Hey, every day I choose. Jesus, I will follow you. Hey, every day I choose. Jesus, I will follow you. Hey, every day I choose. Jesus, I will follow you. Thank you all so much for joining us for our Christmas series. We don't want to say goodbye, so let's sing goodbye with a Christmas song instead. Ready? Ready. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.